What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossMotorTech.com and this is another tutorial in Apex Programming. Now in this class I'm going to talk about the different data types, so let's get started. Now like all other object-oriented programming languages, Apex has different data types. Now if you guys are familiar with Java, Java has the int, the double, the floats and stuff like that, and the strings. Now Apex uh, very closely resembles Java, so if you're familiar with Java, learning Apex will be a breeze. Now in this class, I'm only gonna talk about a few of the different data types, the most commonly used data types, and I'll leave it up to you guys to learn the, the rest. Now the first one I'm gonna talk about is the string. Now if you guys learned Java, then you know what a string is. So I'm gonna type in capital S T R I N G. This is the data type, string. Now remember, Apex is a case in sensitive programming languages. Now it doesn't matter if all this was caps or all this was lowercase it'll still work the same, but I like to use uh, uppercase for the first letter of the word, especially when it's a data type. That's just me, but you guys can do whatever you want. Now, the next thing we need to do is the, give it a variable name, right? Since it's a string data type, we have to give it a variable name. I'll call this red. I like to use, I like to use colors as variable names. So now we're gonna hit space and we're gonna make this equal to. Now this equal to symbol is an assignment operator. I'm gonna talk more about these assignment operators later on. Know that we're giving a value to this variable, which is string data type. So now we're gonna use a set of single quotes and end it with a semicolon. Now, a set of single quotes because it is a string and we're ending it with a semicolon because this is a statement. You have to end all statements with a semicolon. Inside the set of single quotes, between the two single quotes, we're going to type in a value, a string value. So let's type in, let's say, hello. All right. Now, uh, this is a string data type, right? We assigned the string data type to, the, to this variable name, red, and we gave it the value of this string, hello, right? So now, how do we print this out on the screen? Easy, we use something called a system.debug. Now again, if you guys are familiar with Java, we have something called a system.out.println. So it's similar to that, so we're gonna type in capital S, Y, S, T, E, M, dot debug, D, E, B, U, G, open and close parentheses, end it with a semicolon. Inside this open and close parentheses, we're gonna type in the variable name. The variable name is red, so we're gonna type in red, right? So now, Let's print this out on the screen. To do that, we're gonna click on Execute Anonymous. So click on Execute Anonymous. And we're gonna look for the debug code. So I'm gonna go down here until I see the debug line here. And it should be right over here. Okay. As you can see, this is the user debug line and it printed out, hello. So this is the string data type and this is how we use the string data type. Now let's uh, talk about the uh, integer. So I'm gonna type in capital I-N-T-E-G-E-R, hit space. Now this is the integer data type. So basically what an integer is, is a whole number without a decimal point, and I'll show you how that works. Since this is a data type, now we gotta give it a, a name. We need to give our variable a name. I'm gonna call this one red again. And I wanna make this one equal to uh, five, and end it with a semicolon. Notice we didn't use any single quotes because it's not a string. This is an integer. This is an actual number value here. And since this is an integer, there are no decimal points. So that's why we, I, I give it a value of five. So now how do we print this out on the screen? Same way we print out the string. What you have to do is you type in S-Y-S-T-E-M system.debug. Open and close parentheses, end it with a semicolon. Remember, you always end a statement with a semicolon. A statement is an action, it's something you're doing, right? But it has to end with a semicolon. Now, inside this open and close parentheses, we're gonna type in our variable name that we wanna print out on the screen, so let's type in red. So now again, let's print it out on the screen. I'm gonna hit execute here, execute anonymous. Let's look for our user debug line, and it should be over, should be over right here. Okay, and as you can see, it printed out five here. Pretty cool, right? Now, this third uh, data type I'm gonna talk about is something called double. So let's replace this with a double. I'm gonna keep the rest of the code. So capital D-O-U-B-L-E, right? Double is a data type. Now double is a numeric data type like integer, but this one has a decimal point, right? You're gonna give it a value with a decimal point instead of a whole number. So uh, I'm gonna change five to 5.5. .5. Right, so now we declared a variable, right? This variable 
has a double data type. The variable name is red and we give it a value of 5.5. And now let's print it out on the screen. I'm gonna click on execute anonymous again. And let's look for it. And as you can see, it is right here. And if printed out 5.5. All right, so that's pretty much it for this class. Now, if you guys want to learn more about the other data types, you can do your own research. I showed you the three most common data types we're going to be using. As we go along uh, throughout this tutorial series, if one of the other data types comes along, I'm going to talk about it. I'll explain it. So don't worry if you guys uh, think I missed something. I'm going to go over it later on. So again, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and thanks for watching.